Okay, now that we've got these guys open, uh, we can start to you know explore a little bit. So a uh, very helpful tool is this cursor value tool, this little red guy. And if you uh, click on that, basically if you click anywhere in the scene, it will produce these sort of red uh, crosshairs. And uh, you can zoom way in there and see what's being highlighted. And you, if you look in the cursor value guy, it'll tell you where in the, you know, where on the image you're looking. It'll also tell you if there's geographic information, which this image does have, where in the world you are in, in, in coordinate system. Um, and it will also tell you the data value, the pixel value, the brightness value uh, in this case, or the digital number of that pixel. So this guy, which is high, or band five, and then five zero, this is band five. And in this location, I happen to click on the data value is 83. Now if I click over here, Presumably that data value will go down because this is a darker place. Oh, and indeed it did. This is a data value of 30. And if I click over here, it jumped up to 111. If I click over down here, it's 155, right? And so, and this is for this um, image that's highlighted, or we got the check mark, so which happens to be band 5. If I also add in another one, this is band 7, and since that's on top now, that's what I'm displaying on top, and I click someplace, now I'll see two different values. This top one is for band 7, because this is a check mark for band 7, and it's on top. This is a value of 65. And for this same location, for band 5, the value is 117. And I can turn on band 4. And if I click a new place, then OK, now we, and so on, right? So, so that's, that's quite, quite useful and, and valuable information. Um, there's also this go to guy up here. And so I can, you know, I can go different places by clicking around. I can go to specific pixel coordinates by using this go to guy. And I, I type in, you know, one comma one. And, and let's do that and see what happens. So if I click there, oh, it's very interesting. If I zoom way out, um, where am I? I'm up at this corner of the image, right? I'm up at the corner of the image. And so the image you can think of as a grid, right? There's, there's rows. And there's columns, right? And this position is, you know, uh, one one. And is, does row come first or does column come first? Well, let's let's play a game and figure that out. So I'll make this one one thousand. What happened? Oh, so we're still in the first column, right? But now we're at the one thousandth um, row. And I could make this, you know, ten thousand, right? And oh, that's off the image, right? So so I could also make this guy, you know, one thousand over here. And where would it would push it over in this direction? Oh, sorry, I said I want to make this a thousand, and I want to make this guy zero, or I'll make it one, right? And then oh, well, I can keep on you know moving over, you know, kicking over. So you can use this sort of you know cursor location guy to kind of tell you where you are on the image. Right now we're off the image because it has less than um, ten thousand uh, uh, ten thousand um, columns. Um, and again, you can you can click anywhere in here. For each of these files, you can also, if you right click on them, you can explore some information about them. So if you go to view metadata, this will bring up, let me bring it over here. This will bring up information about this, this guy. So it, oh, this is a raster and it's got this number of columns and this number of rows and it has a single band. That's what I'm seeing from here. There's additional information about how the data are stored. We don't need to worry about that too much. Then there's information about the map info and so this is tied to things like oh it's projected um, we can look at the coordinate system and learn about so it's in zone you know utm zone 13 north wgs 1984 from geography 201 that information should hopefully mean something to you and back in the map info guide also tells you about the pixel size so the individual pixel size you know the width of it is 28.5 meters and the, 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 you know, the north to south of it is 28.5 meters as well. That's the spatial size of a pixel for this one. This new version of Envy does an interesting thing where it, 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 it does some kind of, if you zoom way in, you'll see that it's, um, it appears that it's a little bit sharper than that, that pixel size. It does some kind of a smoothing function that I'm still trying to you know, instead of sharp, abrupt pixels, we get this sort of smoothing function, which I actually, I don't really like. I don't understand what's happening here. It's sort of a black box thing that gives you a false sense about the actual resolution of this, this imagery. Because if I click this measure tool and I measure, you know, across, that's 16 meters, right? Oh, 16 meters is less than the 25, 28.5 meters it should be. So this new version of Envy is doing some kind of a, 
some kind of a smoothing here that is sort of uncontrolled that I, I don't really care for. Um, but that should give you a sense about, you know, these images. Uh, you can, again, in the lab, I'm going to ask you to go to some different places and think about their, uh, their pixel values. And so, yeah, that's, that's this one.